Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whenever you're watching this. Um, welcome to another disc golf video. My name is Michael Holt, for those of you who haven't met me or are new to the channel. Um, I'm a 950 rated amateur player who plays in MPO this year to get better. Um, we're practicing out at the Angry Beaver. Should have a good morning, should have a good round. Working on my release point today, um, it's been struggling. I've been holding on for too long, late releasing. It's just been causing a lot of problems. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. Hopefully we can make some improvements. Hopefully y'all's game can get better as well. Let's get into it. All right, so hole one right here. We wanna go down this right gap with our bounty and let it just pan all the way down to the basket. Got a little bit of a tailwind right now. Um, so I don't wanna turn this over. I don't wanna throw it on too much ante because that'll the wind will push it down. Um, so this is gonna be an interesting one. I really just wanna hit the gap and get down there past the road. Give us a good look. Turn, 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 turn. Man, okay. I mean, honestly, that's better than some of my releases lately. All right, so from here, just gonna throw the soft justice into that mound, give us a little putt. Yep, starting off with the pars, not bad. All right, like I said, pars not a bad start. All right, so <clears throat> this hole right here, I'm gonna throw my VIP stag. I wanna just get it down there um, as straight as possible, maybe a little bit of left to right. Really focus on release point here. No, Michael. All right, so we actually got kind of lucky and filtered down here to a good position. Um, I don't know what to throw here. I think that the Sampo is gonna be too understable, but I also don't know how much I'm gonna be able to power up this shot. Maybe I'll throw, maybe I'll throw the grace. It might seem a little bit fast for this situation, but if I hit the line, it'll carry all the way down and dump to the right down there. All right, hit my line. Know exactly where I'm aiming, give it the right angle, not too much power, and let it pan. Yes. Okay, so it kicked to the right. If it had kicked to the left, we would have been parked for a birdie. All right, so this was an incredible shot from back there, giving us a birdie look. I've been saying so much in videos how much my putt has been struggling, and that's because it has, but that isn't something that I need to talk about as I'm stepping up to a putt, you know? I don't need to be like, hey, I've been really struggling with putting. So I'm gonna struggle with this one. Like that isn't a good mindset to have. You have to move past all those other shots, all those other situations, and you have to play through it. Um, so this is a, a brand new putt. This putt has nothing to do with my past putts. I know how to putt. I know that I've made probably hundreds of putts from this distance, if not thousands. This is about circle's edge. So like shut up and put it in the basket. Nice, easy, smooth putt. Breath, good stroke. Get up. Ah, that's okay. Right line just didn't commit. Okay. All right, we'll get it figured out, man. That's really frustrating because that would have been a massive birdie on this hole. But being at par is okay, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna putt this a couple times off camera just to get a feel for it out here. All right, <clears throat> so this hole is just a very specific landing zone that we wanna hit out there. Don't wanna go too far straight on the bounty. Nice and smooth, straight. Hopefully have it end up left a little bit. Maybe give it a little bit of hyzer out of the hand. 
Well, oh, there was, uh, dude, that looks so good. That looked so good. All right, so I've got no line here. So I'm just gonna jump putt out there into the open. To give us a shot. Oh, man. All right, so a little bit of wind out there. Um, I'm gonna take my rive and throw it towards out of bounds, flat. Trusting the disc to come back to the left. It's a scary shot, but you have to be able to trust your discs. Settle down. Just in bounds. See, I didn't even trust it enough because I was aiming at the right side OB and it almost went out of bounds on the left. All right, so there's a little bit of a right to left headwind or right to left wind, probably not much headwind on it. I'm gonna take my grace and throw it out on a big hyzer. Not too much angle, but just aiming right, trusting that the wind will push it over and see if I can get myself the distance that I need. All right, that was actually really good. Probably about maybe 20 or 30 away, it looks like from here, maybe more. So I've been kind of low key working on a new putting stroke at home because I've been so frustrated with my putt. And you know, <clears throat> even pros change their putt up as they progress sometimes. Um, so the rest of the round, I'm gonna be working on this new putt. Um, so normally you guys know that I putt on a hyzer like this and pop it up. I feel like I've been super inaccurate like that. And once I figured out that nose up helps your putt get to the basket more, I started messing with this putt that I hold almost like vertical like this. And I bring it back and I keep the, I keep the nose up and it just helps me be more accurate. It probably looks like some other people's putts. I just did it as I was messing around thinking about, because before I would putt like this, I'd bring it back and then I'd bring it up and release right here was the whole goal. But that's a, lot of, that's a lot of movement. So if I can just lock it into place, then it seems to have been helping me. So we're gonna see if we can get this one in. A lot of wind right now. I don't know why. Maybe it's all the weather change, but there's been a lot of wind around here lately. All right, elevated basket too. Oh, wow, wind. Thank you. Thanks, wind. There it is. Oh, man, so that means I got this for bogey. Dang, dude, I would have loved to have saved this. All right, that's a bogey. I mean, honestly, that's fairly expected based off of the first shot. Okay, so plus one now after that hole. Let's see what we can do on this one. I normally am just trying to get out of this one unscathed. Uh, I'm gonna throw my stag here, just a regular VIP stag. A little bit of a tailwind. Just try and get it through the gap. Focus on my release point, where I want the disc to go. Imagine it flying right there and throw the disc. Flip just a little. Okay, that was a really good shot. Tailwind stood it up like I knew it would. If there was no tailwind, that would have been an unbelievable shot. Lots of roots in my way, but honestly, that's a part of disc golf. Yeah, this is like, that's one reason why I want to throw the sidearm. Man, I could throw the bounty sidearm here, but I just don't want to turn it over and I feel like I would. Oh, I hate this. Okay, I'm coming up on 30 seconds, so I need to, uh, I'm just gonna grab my Emac Truth, trust it, throw it, and get it there. I knew that was gonna happen. All right, all right, very long putt, but 
again, the mindset needs to be, you've made putts like this, and to give it a good bid. <sighs> nice committed shot, like, we're not coming up short on this. Gosh, that was so good. We came up short, but <laughs> that was really good. All right, another look at a birdie. So we're getting close on these guys. So I think I should have tried to jump those in because I also have been working on a jump putt and straddle putts in the backyard and everything, but it is what it is. Still plus one. All right, fell in, sidearm shot, turn right before the trees at the end. It flipped it. Come on. All right, that's gonna be a look. The headwind definitely turned that over. All right, so a birdie would be nice here. Let's get this one in, okay, bud? Gosh, that was a perfect line. Michael, the basket is low here. Dang it. I can't, I, I like genuinely, genuinely, I can't even begin to explain the frustration of going from having a extremely consistent, confident, ridiculously good putt like six months ago to now just like feeling like I just started playing disc golf a week ago. It's so frustrating. That wind was a little bit brutal, but man, like, and honestly, I, I, I genuinely think that what happened was playing in the cold made me change my putt because my knuckles were stiff, all that kind of stuff. And so the, the, like, man, I feel like I was such a good putter. I genuinely think that for a couple months there before winter hit, I was like, 90% from 40 feet, like without question. I was ridiculous, I felt so confident. And then winter came, it jacked up my like grip, made everything feel stiff, and like I had to change things, and it's just, it's just frustrating because it was good. And now I'm annoyed. <laughs> All right, so I've been throwing the bounty backhand on this hole recently. Honestly, ever since that mid-range video where I came out here and played with all mids, and I threw the bounty here and it was like ridiculous. So I'm starting to, uh, I'm starting to, to make that my play on this hole. And I actually really like it. So let me hit our line here. Ah, oh, it's stabling out because of the wind. Why is there wind in the woods? Okay, so what I want to do here is throw the grace and try and achieve the same line that I achieved on hole two, but maybe make it hold left a little bit longer. So give it some power, maybe throw it a little bit flatter, knowing that it'll turn over with that power, carry up the hillside, and hopefully give us a good look. On the stairs, okay, I mean from here, that was actually really good. Kind of an awkward stance here, just gonna throw the soft harp or the soft justice and try and get it in the basket. All right, that should be a par. Yes. Okay, always practice. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. All right. Going for the felon here. Really got to have a committed shot with this. Come out of it. Come out of it. Come out of it. You're a felon. Come out of it. 
So remember how I said I was gonna change my putt? I lied. <laughs> I don't think that's a smart thing to do. Like the weather's changing. I've never been more confident with that putt in my entire life as I did before. So I don't think that the right thing to do is to change it. This tree is right in my face. <sighs> like I know how to putt. I know how to putt. You know how to putt, dude. That's so bad. It was so forced. I like tweaked my wrist and everything. I don't know what is going on, man. I mean, that was a good putt, but gosh, it is. I'm, I'm, you have to push through it. That's the thing with disc golf. You have to push through these and you have to figure out what's going on. Like, it was. It, <sighs> Par is fine, and that was a long putt either way. But I have got to figure this out, and I can't figure it out in the backyard. I have to figure it out on the course, because the backyard is completely different from the course. All right, I want to birdie this hole so bad, and I know that I'm capable of it. All that I need is, honestly, a drive that ends up kind of on the right side, but not too cut off. And then just throw my grace on a sidearm into the basket. 661 feet. I can probably only go 330, 350 up this hill max because of it being uphill. So that means I have another 330 sidearm to get to the basket. So this shot has to be good. And the next shot has to be good. It has to be perfect. And and there's a whole bunch of wind in the woods right now. So right to left, I wanna throw this flat and let it get a full flight uphill. The uphill is gonna make it a little more stable, so we just have to keep that in mind, or it's gonna make it act a little more stable. Oh, that's a bad shot. Kick left, thank you. That was incredible, dude, you. That was not slow and smooth. Okay, so this is gonna be a big boy shot. Uphill, sidearm, flexi. Okay, so this is gonna be a, a big boy shot. No real run up, wind still in the woods, headwind. Throwing my grace, aiming at the tree on the right with Anheuser and just trying to push down. I do not want to end up in the woods on the right if possible. No real run up or anything. And again, look at this, like those leaves are wet, so they're super heavy and they're still blown in my face. Overturned, rolling into the woods, okay. All right, so I need to come inside of this tree right here, that split tree that you guys are looking at. I'm gonna throw the felon directly at it. Come on. Oh my gosh, dude. That was almost perfect. Man, guys, that was gonna be perfect. Now we've got this crazy putt right here. Now, too far to get it there on Anheuser. That was almost it. All right, that'll be another bogey, so plus two. Hopefully we can get a birdie on the next one. I need to go back and watch some of my old putting videos teaching myself how to putt. Like when I used to use my breath like and pace myself, it was so good, excuse me. And I just stopped doing that. I just stopped. It's wild. 
All right, so we know that we can birdie this hole with a sidearm. I've done it a couple of times now. I need to really commit to my throw. I know my aim point, throwing the Latitude Royal Rive here, probably my favorite distance uh, sidearm disc now. Threw it over 400 feet the other day. Let's, uh, let's get this down there. Nice and flat and push it. Oh my gosh, dude. That's embarrassing. Let's see if we can throw our grace on a little bit of a hyzer here, have it flip up some and push down towards the basket. That was sick. All right, just gonna take the felon here and get it down by the basket for us. Settle down. All right. So here's the grace. Not a bad shot. Every putt, breathe. Like, come on, dude, you were such a good putter. Man, I used to be such a good putter. All right, so pretty typical for me out here, uh, being plus two before we get into the back nine. Kind of frustrating. Um, I gotta figure out my putt. I think what I'm gonna do, honestly, is next time that I wanna go and do a putting session, I'm gonna come out here or to another course, not throw any discs, just walk from basket to basket and putt around the circle, spend like five minutes on each hole, 10 minutes on each hole, whatever, um, and just putt because it, it's so different being on the course than it is in my backyard where it's the same and I can dial it in. I need to be able to walk around a basket out here and get better. Um, so plus two right now. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the back nine soon. Take care.